is falling behind on the first gap is the compatibility gap to understand this gap you need to know something called calorific value it's basically the amount of energy you get from burning 1 liter of fuel now petrol has a higher calorific value than ethanol which means 1 liter of petrol gives you more energy than 1 liter of ethanol to be more accurate 1 liter of petrol delivers 32 megajoules of energy while ethanol only delivers 21.1 megajoules which is a 34% drop in energy density so when your car runs on ethanol blended fuel the engine burns more fuel to travel the exact same distance that is why consumers often see their mileage drop now if you look at this chart niti ayog's document says that e04 wheelers calibrated to e20 see a 6 to 7% drop in mileage similarly two wheelers designed for e0 calibrated to e20 see a 3 to 4% drop to put that 6% drop in perspective if your car runs 15 km per liter on petrol with e20 that falls to about 14.1 km So over 1000 kilometers of driving you will need 71 liters of E20 fuel instead of 67 liters of petrol so you will need 4 liters of petrol extra so if petrol costs 100 rupees per liter that's 400 rupees more every 1000 kilometers this is the reason why niti ayog had suggested that ethanol blends should be cheaper to offset this loss but in practice petrol prices have not fallen at all so what you're majorly paying for is not petrol but the tax on petrol which includes vat and excise duty so now the problem is the mileage has dropped but we don't see any decrease in petrol prices and that is disappointing for the citizens secondly not every car is ready for ethanol yet you see if you 